As usual, it's been a little while since I've taken uh, any video. I have started to come down to the van quite a bit more. Um, <laughs> turns out this project's taken me a lot longer than what I thought. Uh, you'll probably notice that uh, I've actually got the flooring up. I, I can't remember what I said in, in, in the last video, but uh, just where my shark over is, there was uh, lots of... Um, not lots. That's where the bolts were for the seating that went right through the chassis. Uh, right through the box and into the chassis. And unfortunately, in, in that area, they just... I don't know, it's, it, I think it's maybe just bad placement or like, or something, but literally there was a lot of, uh, a lot of corrosion and stuff, don't you see just outside of there. You, you can actually see right through to the tyres there. So I've got a metal plate there, I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm going to do about that bit. Obviously it'd be more metal. Um, I've actually put some lights in the, uh, the visual holes, they were blue, now they're white. Um, I've seen another ambulance converter on YouTube who made his uh, almost like scene lights come on with the reverse. So that's what I'll probably do on this. Uh, still not done too much with Genesis. Uh, I'm in two minds whether or not I get rid of the whole system because right now it's just a bit of a a gimmick really and it's just wasting power I knew this when I put it in but you know I wanted to try it I mean the issue is I, I, I really like the 999 mode voice I, I don't know it's quite childish I, I suppose but I quite like it uh, so yeah this is the state of it now um, I know that I'm, I'm in an ambulance converter group on, on Facebook and there's quite a lot of questions on how well insulated these ambulances are well, just this section here is the original floor, so it isn't actually half bad. You can see on the steps where there's been like, I don't know, like dust or something com coming in or, or whatever. Uh, you can see little areas where water's got in. So in terms of insulation, these boxes they don't seem too bad. Sure, there's areas where there's missing. I mean, you just the outside of wiring there, look. Uh, there was never any insulation in there. Never any in there. Uh, in in this bit, which was the comms cabinet. As you can see, absolutely no in insulation whatsoever. Uh, the roof space, again, you can just see the far end. All this white stuff is, is insulation I've put in. There was nothing in there as uh, as standard. Uh, there are a few gaps here, but that's because I've actually taken them out to try and hoover up. I don't know what it is. It's like sand or something. All this stuff was under this insulation. You see like little bits of rubbish on there. Um, the insulation itself looks like it was made out of like whatever they had left over um, UV modular unfortunately no longer exist uh, or they got absorbed into another company and then got sold off and I don't know uh, the design for this box was was shared between another company I think it was Papworth or Wilker maybe uh, anyway so yeah uh, the, the original company no longer exists so I can't get any spares for this box. Um, I wouldn't mind taking that rear step out and trying to re rebuild the floor. Uh, what else have I done? Yeah, I've, I've done little bits and bats. Um, these are the original anchor points for the... Uh, stretcher system and these bolts literally went through through the box and and again in into the chassis and these were an absolute pain in the ass i, I had to get under the van spray about i don't know a tin 
or a can full of WD-40 onto the nuts just to try and get them to loosen up. So in, in certain aspects they were built quite well and then in others there's glaring issues that they just kind of glossed over. Anyway, so with a bit of luck, and I hate putting dates on it on on this, but I'm gonna have to. I'm hoping this will be all built by roughly Christmas, or be, well, hopefully before Christmas. But December is is a month that I'm aiming for because December is also my birthday, so it'd be really handy to have it built for then. Uh. It's all just, sounds kind of daft, but it's all just lots of little bits. Like, if I didn't rip all that floor out, I could have saved myself a shed load of time. Um, finding plywood now, it's just stupidly expensive. Um, again, I could have saved time by not taking all the walls down, not pulling the floor up, not taking the tail lift off. But, where would the fun in that be? As a friend of mine said, I, I, don't, I do choose these pr projects and I, and I don't do things by ass. I've certainly set myself a big, massive goal. Um, I would have been better off buying a panel van and just converting that. But, I wanted a challenge. Not to mention, it's it's pretty... I know, there's something quite uh, awesome about saving a vehicle that was potentially destined for the scrapyard. Giving it a new lease of life. And sure, there's all, all the people that say, you know, oh, oh it's an ambulance, uh, and you're worried about the people that died in here. But what about the people that lived in here? You know, like, this might be a, a, a chariot of death, but it also saved people. Anyway, um, I guess I will see you all on, on the next one, all four of you that actually watch this. Um, I, I do appreciate you and all, all the comments that you, that you leave. See you on the next one.